Hey, on the phone with us right now is Tyler Farr, redneck crazy man. How you doing? Good morning, sir. Doing good, man. How y'all doing up there? You're not uh, from far away from here. Garden City, Missouri, your hometown, I understand. Yeah, not too far. Just head south just a little bit. We're, we're down, yeah, Garden City is about, that's, that's pretty much in the middle of nowhere. But right. it's, uh, well, that's all right. Uh, you know, small, small farming community, about 800 people grew up there. Right. Lived there my whole life and moved to Nashville about uh, nine years ago or so. Been been in Tennessee ever since. So very good. Well, people to, to most people, you're probably kind of a newcomer with the new hit Redneck Crazy. You've been on the charts a couple of times before, though, and you've been doing a lot of writing, I know, and and uh, for other people and and uh, some collaborations. So uh, kind of tell yeah. us, you know, how's all that uh, been going? How'd you get started? Stepdad played with George Jones for several years and right. kind of grew up with pretty much him and Tammy Bonnet. Right. And was had a very close relationship with him. So he had asked me to come on the road with uh, him and the Jones boys and, and George Jones and back when I was about 16, which had been and about the year 2000 or 99. And <clears throat> did that. And I guess you could say that's what, you know, made me fell in love with country music. And right. It just kind of started from there and then went to college at Missouri State in Springfield, Missouri mm-hmm. for uh, a few years and then moved to just kind of pack my bags and decided that wasn't for me and I wanted to start singing now and uh, packing my stuff, moved to Nashville and uh, started working uh, at the door at Bouncing at Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. Mm-hmm. And uh, that led to me getting up one night and singing, and then I started singing there, did that for, for about a year and a half, and moved back to Missouri for uh, about two months to just kind of figure out where I wanted to do. I was, you know, tired of just doing covers. I wanted to, right. I, I got into writing music a lot and wanted people to hear my music, and sure. uh, didn't really know the next step. And then I got a call from Red Aikens uh, to country music. Music artist had that ain't my truck out mm-hmm. in the 90s, and now one of the top songwriters in Nashville. And him and uh, his little group of writers, the Peach Pickers, kind of got me started and writing. And I started doing that. And then me and Rhett's uh, son, Thomas Rhett, which uh, you all are familiar with, yeah, he, uh, we wrote a song that was on Joe Nichols' album and um, last album. And then we I wrote several songs. Cole Forge got a couple of mine. I did a collaboration with Colt on a, a couple albums back on his his album with him and he's one of the best friends and uh, we just they just kind of started spiraling and landed a deal at uh, Columbia Records on all right well, actually landed a publishing deal and then that led to uh, draw the attention of uh, Columbia Records over at Sony mm-hmm. after uh, being on the and then when I did that I was on the road with Colt Ford for about a uh, about a entire year with him Brantley Gilbert and played all over the south and everywhere and did about 250 dates that year and that kind of drew the attention to them that hey we need to get a single out there and we put out my first single uh, about a year year or so ago and Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of uh, went from there so I guess uh, going back uh, here just a little bit when George Jones asked you to come out and play with him on the road you pretty much say yes (laughs) Well, and I, he wasn't. I, did, I wasn't actually playing with him. Oh, and okay. Like opening up for him, I, I just kind of was out there hanging out. Right. I would just kind of get up during sound check and babysit him and Nancy's grandkids, and <laughs> nice. just kind of got was just surrounded by the whole country music. And you know, I can't can't really think of a better person to be surrounded by than than the possum. You know, yeah, so. absolutely. Now, your new single, Redneck Crazy, this is obviously uh, kind of uh, a career definer, at least an early career definer. It's sitting at, depending on what chart you look at, number eight this week. So congratulations. Yes, sir. Well, I appreciate it. It's It's been a kind of a whirlwind the last month or two. This is all uh, new for me from the, from the single doing as well as it has. And the video is uh, cold and uh, Lee Bryce and Willie Robertson from Duck Dynasty in the music video. I think it just is tapping on about four, all getting close to getting four million views coming nice. up, and then I uh, went gold on the single a couple weeks back, and it's just been it's been kind of surreal, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Very humbling, and it's just uh, just trying to take it a day at a time, 
try to stop and smell the roses every now and then. So, you do the uh, Facebook and Twitter thing. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all all million of the social networks. I'm on there. So. <laughs> Tyler, we appreciate your time. We wish you the best of luck uh, going forward, and uh, hopefully you hit number one with Redneck Crazy, man. Well, thank you, and uh, thank you all for all your support up there. I appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you all here uh, in just a few days.